Shocking. Taking the shock out of her now. We can't use the end of the footrest because these are fold up ones. Well, they are for the moment anyway. See, they should push out. <laughs> and you're ending up riding on the fucking things to get a move. Uh, the shock which is in that seat, I was told, is a uh, standard uh, shock off a VFR 750. What model, uh, whether it is, I think it looks like a Honda shock. Um, I don't know about it, whether it's the correct length or anything, but it certainly isn't staying in the bike, that's for certain. Actually hitting, hitting on the the rod here at the back. It's actually hitting that. That's why the bolt's such a bad to get out. Problem is, is that this spacer is st stuck on the bolt. That's that's the that's the issue. All of these bushes seem okay, which is good. What had happened is whenever it's been tightened up this bush the end inside has been has been either peened over or it's caught on something and created a lip and the bolt had got stuck it, you could rotate it but as it was been coming out you can see by the scrolls marks there it was stuck on a lip so that's what that's why it was a bit of a bubble to come out mainly because of that lip so I'm just fi filing the lip off now drops in that end fine and that end it gets stuck in I'm certainly not going to reuse this shock. I mean, we're going to put it back in for now just to, so we can wheel the bike about. Um, but we've got to take, if, we, if we're going to get this shock in, the only way round it is going to be by reducing the stroke it has. Now, looking at it, we might get away with it. Because that's got an awful lot of sh stroke compared to that one, but I don't know what the standard stroke is. So it's going to be a, a, uh, an investigative bit of it work first before we start messing about too much. Partly the problem is, is how little room there is to play with. 
that's the, the suspension is more or less in the right uh, swinging arms more or less in the right place but the, uh, the the shock is very little because it's so much fatter the spring there's very little room to play the linkage there where it, it joins together is hitting hitting the spring what a fucking nightmare this is turning out to be I would just, oh I need help help And the arms have to, well the arm has to be there. Well, we can maybe take a bit off it, out of it, should I say? Well, unless we run a thinner spring. No, oh, that's all completely wrong. The linkage has been ground. Oh, that's been ground away. Yeah, and it's still not right. That only just fits as it is. Partly the problem, or well, the main problem is, is the shock is a lot longer than the standard shock. So this link here, where it meets this link, the position of it's different, and it's effectively a lot, a lot lower than it should be. And with the sh with the shock absorber being a bit fatter than it should be, the amount of space it's got to play about with is, has been dramatically reduced. And these links here, which come down. They're actually hitting the shock. That's why I can't get the bolt in properly. And I think what's happened in the past, uh, when the shock's been put in, they've literally just welded it in. And that's what's uh, damaged that space of it. That's why I couldn't get the bolt out in the first place. The spacer was damaged. So it's just finding a solution to try and get it back on its wheels. And I can't... Put them, I suppose I'll put the bolt in from this side. I can't get it in that way either. I'll take that out of there. Let's try taking this out of here. And assembling this lot. I'm going to try and somehow get that forced up into there. in. That'll be the biggest problem is trying to get this this here bolt in. Oh, 